you have invasive cervical cancer. What they found out was that the cancer had spread. The only option for my treatment would be something that's still in the trial phases. This is the only thing. And if it doesn't work, you'll have about two years left to live. Being 27 years old and having to make a will or pick out a headstone and a casket and plan for my finances for when I go is really hard. Um, then I started my chemo and radiation treatments. My radiation treatments consisted of 25 sessions back to back, so it was five days a week, Monday through Friday. And at the beginning of every week, I had chemotherapy. Radiation kind of feels like your insides are being microwaved, and it does a lot of damage. Ultimately, it took away my ability to have children. At the end of my treatments, uh, probably the hardest thing to deal with was, I have an uncle who um, was born with cerebral palsy and severe autism, and he's been in a wheelchair his whole life. As I'm bald and sick, finished with chemotherapy, we found a very large growth in his abdomen three days before I had my final scans to see if the cancer was there or not, he died. And when the doctor pulled me in to give me the results of my final scans, and they said that everything looked good and the cancer was gone, I couldn't be excited. I couldn't be happy. It just seemed unfair that so many people have to go through this and they die. So much is taken from them. I made it and so many people don't. You know, it's been about a month since Danny died and uh, I miss him a lot, I really do. He was so innocent and so pure, just happy and loving all the time. Uh, but, you know, I, I get to live. We are given this life and we have so many opportunities and each one of us have the same 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If we could all just not wait for that moment to force us to change and just decide to change right now and do things that you love to do. Try to help others. It'll help you feel better about yourself. One thing you just need to remember is that we're not all the same. And uh, if you give yourself the time, just, just remember, don't push yourself too hard. Just try to be better than you were yesterday. And don't try to compete with anybody else because everybody's different. You know, it's, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. I'm Selena Johnson, and I'm a cancer survivor. And I'm gonna keep on surviving. <laughs>